candle making has been in this family for over 300 years. Viviana Alaves is one of the last people in her Mexican village who still knows how to make these candles by hand. They were commonly used in church services and proposal ceremonies. And it was Viviana's break from tradition that saved the family business and the art form. We visited Oaxaca to see how Viviana's workshop is still standing. Making candles starts with the wax. Viviana's daughter-in-law, Guillermina, breaks it up by hand. Then, Viviana melts it over a fire, fueled by wood and corn cobs. Yo no me uso gas. Hago de natural. She learned the craft at around eight years old. Her parents left her when she was a child, and her grandma couldn't afford to send her to school. She taught her to make candles instead. Mira, dice que yo voy a dejar un trabajo para siempre. 64 years later, she runs the business with her family. Me quedé para siempre. Me, me enseñaron a trabajar. Entonces yo busqué la manera como voy a salir adelante. But a lot has changed. They used to get the wax from local bee farmers. But a changing climate has forced them to find another source, over 200 miles away. Parte de Oaxaca ya son muy secas. Por eso compro de chapas. Y hay agua, pues. Y hay de comer la, las abejitas, pues. Viviana uses a bowl as a mold and dips it first into the hot wax, then into cold water to harden it. She can make up to 40 pounds of these discs in a day. Viviana then lays them out on the roof of her house. She lives in the small village of Teotitlan de Valle. The Zapotec indigenous people have been living here since the 15th century. The discs sit for up to a month, bleaching under the sun. This purifies the wax and makes it a blank canvas, so it can be melted down again and dyed. Then it's time to make the candlesticks. These candles started out as bare wicks. One layer at a time, they pour wax over them and let them dry for 10 minutes before adding the next layer. It takes an entire month to get them to this size. The biggest candle Viviana has ever made was nearly six feet tall and weighed 30 pounds. Finally, they cut the bottoms to make the candlesticks even. This week, the family is filling an order of 48 candles for a proposal ceremony. But business wasn't always like this. Up until the 1980s, Viviana and other candle makers didn't get paid for their work. Instead, they offered the candles to the church in exchange for food. Yo fue a dar servicio 20 años. No cobramos, pues, porque así es la costumbre de acá. Es un servicio lo que estás dando. Eventually, most candle makers couldn't afford to keep working and moved on to other trades. But Viviana didn't give up. She came up with new designs, like flowers made out of wax instead of paper. Regalé dos ahí en la iglesia para que vean la gente. Poco a poco le gustaron mucho la gente. Then she broke tradition by selling her candles in order to save the business. But her grandmother was not happy. Sí, me molestó. Lloró mucho cuando vieron mi trabajo. Pero yo le digo a mi abuela, ¿por qué llora, abuela? ¿Para qué vamos a salir adelante? ¿Para qué va, le gusta la gente? Her creations eventually became so popular throughout town that she's now a local celebrity. Por eso todo el pueblo tiene respeto conmigo. Porque saqué lo que, lo más bonito, pues. Viviana and her family make hundreds of wax figurines each week. By cutting, shaping, and molding. Viviana has preserved some of the original candle elements. She still has the molds that have been passed down for three generations. Like this one that she uses to make an angel figurine. El único yo tengo ese molde. Lo todo lo que hacen ver. No. 
and all the dyes are natural. The red color comes from an insect. She still uses paper flowers like her grandma did. But it's the flowers made from wax that she's most proud of. Como yo saqué toda de estas modelo, este botón de rosa, antes no se lleva. Each ornament holds a certain significance. Estas vela va a ir para pedir la mano de la novia. Este blanco es un cariño para la novia. Y este, el color rojo, es este color cariño. Igual color rosa. Y el patito es un hombre y una mujer. Viviana is the first candle maker to sell outside of her village. She now gets business from couples all over Oaxaca and from a jewelry store in New York City. In Mexico, each one of her candles sells for 300 pesos, or $15. And they're used for religious festivals too, like the Mayo Dormia, an annual celebration honoring the village's saint. Es una promesa. La vela es muy sagrada para todos. But business has been slow over the past year, as the pandemic has halted the usual gatherings. La enfermedad que entró, ya no, ya no había nada, pues. Ni misa, ni matrimonio, ni a casar, no. Apenas ahorita que está saliendo, pero le digo, no es mucho. Viviana is excited to get back to work. Yo cuando voy a acabar un tanto, me alegro, voy a ganar un dinerito y va a quedar mi trabajo bien. Viviana has taught the craft to young women in the village, so the tradition can live on after her. Ojalá que voy a quedar este tamaño, se puede, pero año por año me siento muy cansada. And she's counting on her daughter-in-law to pass it on to her children too. Va a aprender. Porque yo va a acabar mi vida. Pues. Yo me siento. Va a acabar mi vida. Ahorita ya me siento. Si tiene amor, lo va a hacer. Porque es muy alegre. Es, el trabajo es, es un alegre. 